Christmas holidays. And also the, the teachers union here says they're going to have people uh, to talk to the students, but when, only when it's age appropriate that they'll talk to them. But again, not exactly sure when the Sandy Hook students will gonna go back. I want to bring in now uh, Wendy Terrell. Come on in here, Wendy. Wendy is an author of a children's book, and your book is called uh, Guardian of Dreams, right? Yes. Why is this a good resource for kids? Show, and show the book. It's a good resource for kids because it was written um, uh, after 9-11 when children were having a lot of nightmares. And given what's happened here today, there's going to be a lot of kids who are going to be dealing with that issue in volume again. And you said kids who have, who have dealt with a lot of trauma in their lives, and that was the yes. impetus behind Absolutely. this? That's why you did it? Absolutely. You find it helps? Um, yes, I have. I've gotten a lot of feedback from counselors and uh, parents who yeah. use the book to help their children deal with their issues and disappear that, that nightmare way and actually create another image in its place. And Wendy, I understand you're a former New York City police officer? That's correct. Yeah. yeah. And how did you prepare when you were a police officer for, for, for traumatic events like this? Because Brooke uh, Baldwin has been talking to the rescuers and they are very emotional. They can't believe what they saw. Um, so how did you prepare when you were doing that? It's not really something you can prepare for and Really, it's the it's it's in the moment. You really don't have that opportunity to to deal to express your emotions at that in that moment in time, and it's only afterwards really that you have a chance to process it. I understand that yesterday you met with grief counselors at various schools. Um, at the grieving center. At the yes. grieving center, and tell us about that. Um, basically, I. Um, uh, donated some books there so that they had the opportunity to use that with the kids in being able to, um, as, a, as a tool for them to use the book that they can help them cope with what's been going on. And it's important to be here because? Um, it's important to be here. It's important, I think, to, to find out how you can contribute um, in a way that's going to be helpful to the community here. Yeah. Let's see the book. Open it up a little bit. Do you, is it pictures or stories it's or what a, do you have? It is a, uh, a picture story. And it's a story about a uh, rabbit who wakes up from a nightmare. Yeah. And the nightmare being a female horse, so it's a play. Um, and any resource to disappear the nightmare away. Yeah. Any resource that children can get at this point is important. Thank Absolutely. you, Wendy Terrell. Absolutely. Thank you. We appreciate it. And thank you, Spencer, to all the folks who are here. But Brooke, it's I mean, you can. It's amazing. I was sitting having lunch just a moment ago, and someone walked in just with a box of these. He printed them himself. himself. It says, we are Sandy Hook. We choose love. And every single person in that restaurant said, I want one for my school. I want one for my business. I want one to put in the window of my home. And that's what they're doing here. They're choosing love instead of having the community be remembered for this horrible event, bro. Yeah, it's, uh, 